Hi, my name is Christina Polzine and I'm the Canadian Business Development Manager for Cummingbird Technologies. I'm going to spend a couple minutes to talk about variable rate technologies. So what is variable rate technology? Variable rate or VR applications allow farmers to apply different rates of products across a field without manually changing settings or going across a field multiple times. VR technology can be used to apply many different types of products. We commonly hear of VR fertilizer applications, but other products like lime or pesticides like herbicides and fungicides, plant growth regulators or desiccants can all be applied through this type of technology. Implementing a management program that utilizes VR applications usually requires combining agronomic, economic, environmental, technological and equipment considerations. So how does variable rate technology work? There are a variety of VR technolo technologies that can be adopted to apply products with or without a GPS system. Two common application technologies are map-based and sensor-based. In a map-based method, equipment can adjust and apply products using a geo-referenced prescription map. We can use maps from previously collected field data sources such as yield maps, topography, remote sensing data, soil fertility data, or other site-specific data sources. The strategy to develop a map-based um, or a prescription map can include using a single source of data, while others include a combination of sources. So for example, fertilizer prescription maps typically are generated from a combination of site-specific data sources like soil nutrient or crop yield maps. In a sensor-based system, we utilize sensors to detect specific soil or crop information on the go. There is no prior mapping or data collection involved with this method. Measurements are made using these systems um, are rapidly processed, and that data then can be used to immediately control a variable rate application. Examples of sensors include spot spraying weeds like weed speaker or weeded technology, or in-season nitrogen applications that use nitrogen sensors, such as Yara's nitrogen sensor. Some examples of variable rate applications can be seen in weed management, for example. Um, weeds with patchy growth habits, for example, um, allow us to match the weed growth with a herbicide application. And we can see this in chem fallow applications, for example. We can utilize aerial imagery to develop those site-specific plans. Um, with disease management, we can identify field variability using remote sensing data, such as satellite imagery. We can use that imagery to highlight variations in vegetation, crop density, and plant health to develop a VR fungicide plan. We can match you know, low producing or low production areas with, let's say, a low fungicide rate or a zero fungicide rate, whereas we could apply standard or higher rates of fungicide products to those higher producing areas. What are the benefits of variable rate technology? VR technologies can improve the economic and environmental sustainability of a farming system. Through improved application of inputs, we can manage crop variability, thereby improving crop yields, quality and standability. In turn, we can maximize our return on investment by appropriately matching inputs in areas of crop production where it's necessary. And as a result, we see more sustainable and environmentally conscientious applications of products. This type of technology also aligns with initiatives like the 4R Nutrient Stewardship, with the four R's of right source, right rate, right time, and right place. So in summary, variable rate technologies offer a great opportunity to manage variability in our cropping systems. Farmers and agronomists have the ability to influence management decisions at various points throughout the growing season. There are opportunities to employ multiple sources of information or a single source of information when developing variable rate application plans. As technology develops, farmers can expect to see increased number of map-based and sensor-based variable rate application methods. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this short video.